Hi, I'm Steve Duplessy, and today I'm joined by Edwin Ewan, analyst with ESG, covering all things systems management across clouds and on-premise. Edwin, we hear a lot from vendors across IT talking about supporting multi-cloud. What exactly does that mean, and how does that uh, differ from hybrid or public clouds? You know, Steve, that's actually a really good question, and it's actually a subject of some research that I'm conducting right now. So a lot of vendors talk about multi-cloud, but we need to kind of define what multi-cloud is. Does that mean it's connecting to on-premise and off-premise? Does it mean that you're connecting to multiple public cloud providers? Do you need to have a systems management solution that just connects to both so that you can see everything in one solution? Or do you need one to be able to kind of manage actively and move resources in between? It's a question that really needs to be asked as more and more vendors claim to be public cloud and multi-cloud, but really give fairly little detail on how they're going to do it. Well, that is the nature of our industry, unfortunately. So our 2017 IT spending intentions report showed that 75% of companies have more than one public cloud provider. How do most companies end up being multi-cloud and how does it affect their overall systems management strategy? Well, that's actually another area that we'll be researching. It's a question of whether or not companies are kind of getting into this organically, which is they've had multiple public cloud use projects, and central ID is kind of pulling them all back together and then managing it. Or are companies actively looking at different public cloud providers and making a determination of what's the best public cloud for each workload and each project? And then the systems management vendors have to respond accordingly. Should they go ahead and just make sure that they can connect to multiple public cloud providers and provide a subset of specific capabilities, or do they need to focus on specific public cloud providers in order to take advantage of the capabilities offered by those specific providers? It's a very interesting area that's evolving for systems management. It is an area that we're researching very hard on. How much of this do you think is, is driven by insurance reasons? In other words, making sure that uh, I don't have all my eggs in one basket. Well, from our experiences, we've seen that that's been one of the primary drivers, ensuring that they have some sort of diversity amongst the vendors uh, in terms of capability, because many of the vendors haven't distinguished themselves on specific workloads. Um, those workloads that have already been chosen are also driving it. The question really is, is there going to be a shift to people seeing specific capabilities and specific performance reasons or other reasons to choose a public cloud provider, and will that drive the systems management configurations and solutions? If you want to learn more about this research or other topics I'm covering in systems management, please visit esg-global.com.